Hello and welcome to JHEP's lesson on rate determining step suitable for OCI and AQA. I think for Edexcel and WayJet, but I'm not entirely sure. So pretend that it's 7.55 and you've got coursework to print out before 8 o'clock. Uh, what you've got to do, you know, switch the computer on, wait for it to start up, open up Word, look for your file, print it out, wait for the printer to respond, let the printer print it out, run to your classroom and give it to your teacher. What would be the slowest step in that? Well, it's debatable, but let's just say that the slowest step is you running to your teacher from, I don't know, the library or something on the upper side of the college. Right. So that basically is the slowest step. That determines how fast the whole process has gone because no matter how fast the computer booted up and you printed out everything, it cannot be faster than you running to your teacher on the other side of the building. So let's say, for example, you running because you are not Usain Bolt. So it took you three minutes to run from the library to the classroom. Okay, the whole process cannot take any less than three minutes because the slowest factor, the slowest step is three minutes okay and that is what we call the rate determining step because it is this is determining what rate this is it determines how fast the whole process is going and that is exactly the same for equations and for um, for chemistry as well the rate determining step is the slowest step in a multi-step chain reaction mechanism and a reaction mechanism is a series of steps that all together make an overall reaction. And this will usually come up as a defined question. Sometimes they could ask it. They ask it a lot, actually. It's two marks. Um, I would learn it. So that's the easy part. But what, what the hardest pick to do is actually calculate it. And we're going to talk through that now. So imagine that we've got NO2 plus CO to make NO plus CO2. La de dee. Okay, we've got the stoichiometric equation here. Can we use that to find the rate? No. Can we use this to find the order of NO2 or CO? No. Can we use it to find the reaction mechanisms? Not entirely. We need to have the rate in order to find out what the reaction mechanism is. Okay, from back in AS, this is a chain reaction. Okay, so there needs to be a first step and a second step and an overall step. But let's come back to that soon. So we've got the rate here. This rate tells us what is required in the slow determining, well, the slow step or the rate determining step. Only this is required, okay? Because this is the rate over here. The rate equation tells us about the slowest step. So, this order number over here, which is number two in respect to NO2, tells us that two molecules of NO2 reacted together to make something, okay? It reacted together. Let's call it a clump of paper, a clump of NO2, okay? We don't know what it is. And this is the slow step, okay? That thing over here must react with CO. Why? Why does it react with CO? Because it is in the stoichiometric equation. So CO must have a part in it somewhere and it's not in the slow step so it's got to be in the fast step so that's CO and not in me as well I forgot the state symbols they're all gases by the way to make something else okay we're going to come back to that in a second the overall step is the stoichiometric step over here is the stoichiometric equation so we've got the NO2 we've got the CO We've got the NO and we've got the CO2. Obviously with state symbols, I'm going to write a big G here for gases, but in your exam, please remember to write all your state symbols all the time, especially in A2. So, we need 
to find out what this is okay and we know that it's got to have a nitrogen in somewhere and it's got to have carbon dioxide okay because we need carbon dioxide needs to be created or made sorry it needs to be made for us to actually have this equation over here the easiest way to think about this is to think about it like a storyline or think about it as a series of steps we've got the introduction here we've got the slow step we've got the no2 plus no2 making something then we've got step b the something reacting with the co to make something else then we've got the finale which is no2 plus co making or going to no plus co2 so co2 needs to come somewhere it needs to be made somewhere so co2 is made in the products over here and no2 one of no2 would be here why because we need to have one molecule of no2 somewhere in the slow or fast step now these two react together to make something totally different it might not make no2 we do not know okay right now we do not know if it makes no2 or no4 or no3 we do not know right now okay but all we know is that that thing must react with co to make one molecule of no2 okay so we've got the one molecule of no2 we've got the one molecule of co and we've got the one molecule of co2 we need to find out where the no is going to come in most students will write NO there, but that will not be right. Why? Because if we look over here, if we balance it all out, we can see that we've got one carbon atom here, one carbon atom here, one nitrogen atom here, we've got none here. So we've got an N here, right? We've got four oxygen atoms here, but only one here. So there needs to be three oxygen atoms. So it's going to be NO3. And that NO3 needs to be made from somewhere, okay? And that's where, this is what it made. This is what the NO2 plus the NO2 made. It made a NO3 plus whatever's, made, whatever's left off of that, which is NO, okay? And that is basically our overall reaction. So, in summary, what we've got to think about is to A, write the overall step, B, labeled the slow step and the fast step which i didn't do sorry c to write down whatever's missing from the slow step in the fast step okay which in this case was co we wrote it in the fast step and we've got to make sure that each molecule is in um, what's it will be available for the overall step okay like the story we need to have all the ingredients all together to make the story and that is it for rate determining step i think it's like my shortest video but yeah enjoy